Welcome back to Insight. For those of you just joining us, Insight is about the people and places of Elsa Goodno. Now, Catherine, you met up with a local dance instructor who wasn't always quite so local. That's right, Michelle. Rusty Frank has lived in El Segundo for the past decade and may be the city's best kept secret. But she says she'd like that to change. In a world where hip hop often dominates the dance clubs, Rusty Frank is bringing back the Lindy Hop. She shares the joy of swing dancing through her studio, Lindy by the Sea. A longtime professional dancer, Rusty discovered her passion early in life. Let's go back to when you put on your very first pair of dancing shoes. When was ah, that? Ah, okay, my first pair of dancing shoes. Well, I loved musicals when I was a little girl. I love Shirley Temple movies, and that's really what started it. And I just asked my mom if I could take tap dancing lessons, so I started when I was six. And I tap danced really from when I was six all the way through high school, college, and then started actually going professional at that point. Right out of college, I started doing professional gigs, tap dancing. She was hired to teach tap dancing at a swing dance camp when she discovered a new love. It just captivated me because everybody was dancing together. It's a partner dance. And when you're tapping, you're by yourself. You're either with a partner, but there's no physical contact. So you're dancing side by side, doing a routine. But in uh, Lindy Hop, swing dancing, you were actually partner dancing, there's physical contact, and I love that. It was at that camp where she met an English swing dancer who wanted to learn tap dancing and could teach her how to lindy hop. And it was at a time in my life where I could just drop everything and move to England, and I did. And we did a professional trade for two years. And so there, for two years, I was working full-time professional dancer. She never thought it was possible to dance for a living. But the passion that became a career has given Rusty some of her favorite memories. I was performing in England, and we were performing with a uh, Glenn Miller big band, a uh, swing orchestra. And we were, uh, my dance partner and I, we did eight numbers in the show. So we'd run on and off stage doing these numbers, and the band was on stage. And it was this m amazing tour. It was a 51-city tour of Europe. It was incredible. <laughs> and but the best moment was at the very end, we were doing In the Mood, that song, and it ends, da 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 like that. And at that end, he would do this thing where he would throw me onto his shoulders in this handstand so I'd be vertical. And I could see the orchestra leader looking at me, holding his baton up, waiting for me to come down, and all the, all the musicians looking at him. And that idea of me being up there as long as I wanted to for him to bring down the end of the song was the most thrilling moment of my dance life. In addition to performing in Europe, Rusty has taught tap and swing dancing all over the world. Her achievements over the years culminated in her induction into the California Swing Dance Hall of Fame. 2008 was when I got this. Yeah, I'm really proud of this. That was very special. As far as the swing dance world goes, this is the highest honor that I could ever get. And so Rusty so wanted to make fun. sure other dancers were honored and remembered, so she wrote a book. You know what led me to write my tap book was my teacher died. And when he died, he um, just would have disappeared because he was one of these people. He was behind the camera. He was a choreographer. And I thought, yeah, this is going to happen to all these people who never made movies, who had huge careers but had never made movies. And so I got to thinking, God, somebody's got to write a book about these people. Yikes. <laughs> That's going to be me. She traveled all over the United States interviewing dancers like the Nicholas Brothers, Shirley Temple, and Donald O'Connor. I actually ended up tap dancing for quite some time with Gene Nelson, who was in the movie Oklahoma. And it was so exciting when I was dancing with him, I used to run, want to run out to the street and just scream, I'm dancing with Gene Nelson, I can't believe it. It's not surprising that Rusty has an office dance studio in her home. It's where she works, dances, and holds private lessons. So we're going to take a step forward, okay. and a step back, and now you're going to cross behind and step on that foot, and then that's the whole thing. And in just so a step, few minutes, she taught step, me the swing step. And then rock, step, step. It's great exercise, and it's a great way to get some happiness in your life. Rusty's students get their natural high every Tuesday and Thursday night here at the El Segundo Women's Club. Let's take a peek inside Lindy by the Sea's intermediate and featured classes. This class features the Big Apple, a classic Lindy Hop routine that was wildly popular in the 30s and 40s. It's really fun and it's silly. At the same time, I don't feel like I have to be trying to be sexy. <laughs> I, I, it's a fun connection with your partner. If you mess up, it's not a big deal. People 
handle it well, and it's just about having a good time and feeling the music. Dorothy Morris began taking lessons a year ago, and she's in both the intermediate and featured classes. Rusty is so good at breaking things down and making you comfortable, uh, whereas a lot of dance teachers will teach you patterns, they'll teach you specific moods, moves, she teaches you to lead and follow so you can feel confident on the dance floor wherever you go with someone you've never danced with. A complete stranger can come up and ask me to dance and I feel okay doing that. Rusty's classes are open to people of all ages and skill levels and you don't even need to bring your own dance partner. I was a little shy starting out to be honest with you and I uh, just you know bit the bullet and decided to get in there and and dance and, the, and from the first uh, session I was just everybody w w received me very well and welcomed me and the partners were just uh, so helpful and uh, that's what really makes it I think is the people. Rusty has had students overcome depression, divorce and job loss through her dance program. And one year four couples that met in her classes got married. Because the music is what I like the most. This is a little bit more uppity up and uh, I like it. It's just very joyful. It puts a smile on my face and uh, just the connection between different people. It's like playing with, with people every week. So I think that's what appeals to everybody is that you forget about your troubles while you're dancing. You just get this high from dancing. And Rusty doesn't just teach El Segundo residents. She has students from all over the South Bay. Okay, so what if someone's too shy to go to the dance studio? Well, Rusty has also produced instructional DVDs on tap and swing dancing, and those are available on her website, RustyFrank.com.